ओके गाइज वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर टेन हिपल स्टेटिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट डिटरमाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर द शेडिड एरिया अबाउट द वाई एक्सिस सो वी हैव डिटरमाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर दिस शेडिड एरिया अबाउट द एक्स एक्सिस इन द प्रीवियस प्रॉब्लम दैट इज सेवन प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर टेन नाउ वी आर आस्ट टू डिटरमाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया Uh, for the shaded area about the y axis is so now if we write the moment of inertia equation that is diy so that will be equal to x square times da i have told you people that if you want to find the moment of inertia about the y so then here we will have the x square right so the logic behind this formula is that uh, the differential area the differential strip need to be parallel with the y axis since uh, we are required to have the differential area at equal distance distance from the y axis and that equal distance need to be x so if i define my differential area so that differential area need to be parallel with the y axis and it should be at a distance of x from the y axis so from the y axis this differential area is at a distance of x and this and the width is the small change in x this is small change in x and this end of the differential strip is at a distance of y from the x axis or from the origin this is at a distance of x and at a distance of y from the origin so from this we can conclude that the height of this uh, differential strip is y let me represent that height so this is the height of this differential strip so now if i we can write that da let me write that da is equal to y into dx right so this is y into dx and so so this is the moment of inertia of this differential strip about the y axis is and we are required to find the moment of inertia of this whole uh, shaded area so we have to integrate both sides of this equation so what does this mean is that x square times da is the moment of inertia of this small differential strip and we have to add up the moment of inertia of all the differential strips from x equals to 0 until x equals to 2 meters so we have to integrate this from x equals to 0 until x equals to 2 meters now this is this will cancel out and this will give us the moment of inertia about the y axis is and this will be equal to x square and da is y times dx so i will write that this is y times dx and we will integrate this from 0 to 2 so uh, it is we can see that the integration is with respect to x and here we have y so we have to replace this y as a function of x so here y square is equal to this so we can say that y equals to 1 minus 0.5 x under the square root so now i can write this is this is from 0 to 2 x square and y is this this is 1 minus 0.5 x under the square root dx so this is the this is the moment of inertia about the y equation now by using this method as we can see that we have arrived to this equation which which involves a an integration which is uh, complex which i think is a little bit complex right so if you people do not know how to solve this integral then use the other way around right as i have told you people in the previous problems that we can find the moment of inertia about a particular axis is using two methods so this equation is always applied when the the differential strip is uh, need to be parallel to the y axis so by using this this equation this method uh, we got this integ uh, integrant and this is very difficult to Uh, to solve right so if you people do not know how to integrate this use the other method the other method is that uh, use the parallel axis theorem and in that case the differential strip need to be perpendicular with the uh, y axis if you people want to find the moment of inertia about the y axis so now i will use the parallel axis theorem that is the second method when the area is perpendicular so when area is perpendicular remember so now i will take an area need to be perpendicular with the y axis 
so let's say this is my area and this area is perpendicular with the y axis and uh, as we know that the centroid of this rectangular strip will be at its mid length so let's say that somewhere here is its centroid and so we need to pass an axis from this centroid so let's say that uh, this is the axis which passes through the centroid of uh, this d differential strip and we uh, we call this axis as the centroidal axis let's say this is y dash so y dash is the centroidal axis and it passes through the centroid of this da so now uh, we can use the parallaxis theorem to find the moment of inertia of this differential strip so we will write that d i y uh, we want to find the moment of inertia of this small uh, area about the y axis and the parallax theorem says that if you people want to find the moment of inertia about an axis which is parallel to one another axis and if you people know the moment of inertia about that axis then you people can uh, easily find the moment of inertia about this axis so if these two axes are parallel and the moment of inertia about one of the axis is known so the moment of inertia about the other axis which is parallel to that axis uh, can be easily determined so we can we are interested to find the moment of inertia about the y axis we know the moment of inertia of this uh, rectangular small strip about the y dash about the centroidal axis and this will be equal to plus the parallax theorem says that this moment of inertia will be equal to the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis plus some other term so that some other term will be the the distance between the two axes the distance between these two axes is y tilde sorry this is x tilde and what is x tilde x tilde is the location of the centroid of this da from the y axis this is x tilde so this is x tilde square times da and this term need to have the same units as of uh, moment of inertia so this is the units of this moment of inertia is meter to the power 4 this is meter to the power 4 so this need to have the units equal to meter to the power 4 so the, equa the equation needs to be homogeneous so this is meter square and this is meter square so it will have the units of meter to the power 4 so that is why we get this x bar squares da so now <clears throat> this is d i y dash is the moment of inertia of about the centroid of uh, this small strip so as we know that the moment of inertia of a rectangle about the centroid is always equal to let me write that the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis is, let me write that centroidal axis is, is always equal to 1 divided by 12 b into h to the power 3 and if you people want to find the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis so that is 1 divided by 12 and b cube b cube h remember so now what does this mean is that uh, the base is always that edge of the area which is parallel to the centroidal axis so this is this is our base this is the height of this differential strip is the small change in a small change in y this is dy and the width of this da is x uh, moment of inertia about the centroidal axis is for this da so that will be let me write that d i y dash will be equal to 1 divided by 12 and for for this particular case about the y dash the this is b this is the base right so we will write that this is dy and this is the height this is x and x cube so this is diy dash which is known right so we can write that this is diy and this is 1 divided by 12 dy and x to the power 3 and now x tilde square so now if if this is x so the centroid is always at at the geometric center of a rectangle so if this is x then x tilde is x divided by 2 that is half the length so this is x divided by 2 so this is x divided by 2 square or we can say that this is x square divided by 4 so this is x square divided by 4 and da so now what is da da is x times dy so i will write that this is x times dy 
So if we multiply this, this will become x cube and we can take this dy common and now if I take the LCM, we can add both of these. So this is 12 x cube plus 3 x cube into dy and this will become 4 x cube. This is 4 x cube divided by 12 or we can say that this is 1 divided by 3 x cube. This is 1 divided by 3 x cube. So this is DIY. So now we can integrate this uh, and we need to add up the moment of inertia of all these differential strips, right? So that we, since we want to find the moment of inertia of this whole area, so we have to integrate this, we have to add up the moment of inertia of these differential strips from y equals to 0 until y equals to 1 meter. So we have to integrate this from uh, y equals to 0 until y equals to 1 meter. So this d and this integral will cancel out. So that will give us the moment of inertia for that whole shaded area. About the y axis, is, this is uh, y divided by 3. And as we can see that the integration is with respect to y and here we have x cube. So we have to replace this x cube in terms of y. So now from this equation, this is y square equals to 1 minus 0 0.5x. So if I bring this term to this side and y square on this side, so we will have 0 0.5x equals to 1 minus y square. 0 0.5 is 1 divided by 2. So we can write that this is x and this is 2 into 1 minus y square. And similarly, x to the power 3. So if we take to the power 3 on both sides. So this is 2 into 1 minus y square. So this will be to the power 3 and this will be to the power 3. So this is x cube and 2 to the power 3 is 8. And now we need to open this. So this will be 1 cube minus y square to the power 3 minus 3 into a b into that a minus b. This is a and this is b. So this is 1 minus y square. This is 8 and this will be 1 minus y to the power 6. This will be minus 3y square, 3y square and then minus 3y square into 1. So that will be minus 3y square and minus into minus plus 3y to the power 4. So this is x cube. So now we need to write this x cube here. So this is 8. We can write that 8 outside of the integration and that is since that is constant. So this is 8 divided by 3. 1 minus y to the power 6 minus 3y square plus 3y to the power 4 into dy. Now in comparison to this, this integration is simple. We can integrate this very easily. So this is uh, i y and this integration is from 0 to 1. Remember this is 8 divided by 3 and if I integrate this, so 1 dy is y minus the integration of this is y and we will add 1 to the power of this. So this is y to the power 7 divided by 7 minus 3y to the power 3 divided by 3 plus 3y to the power 5 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to 1. So now if we put these limits after integration, so this is the moment of inertia about the y-axis, this is 8 divided by 3. So this will be 1 minus 1 to the power 7 divided by 7, so 1 to the power 7 is 1 minus this 3 will cancel out, so we will be left with y to the power 3. And that will be 1 to the power 3 plus 3, 1 to the power 5 is 1. So this is 3 divided by 5. And if we put 0, so everything will become 0. So we are left with this. This is 8 divided by 3 multiply by uh, 1 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 1 and plus 3 divided by 5. So this is 1.219. So the moment of inertia about the y-axis is, is 1.219 meter to the power 4. 